this. All right, hold, hold my sandwich. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Here, you take that. Here, here, you ain't. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. 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 All right, listen, B.O.B., once and for all. The Earth looks flat because, one, you're not far enough away at your size. Two, your, your size isn't large enough relative to Earth to notice any curvature at all. It's a fundamental fact of calculus and non-Euclidean geometry. Small sections of large curved surfaces will always look flat to little creatures that crawl upon it. But this, but this whole thing, it's just a symptom of a larger problem. There's a growing anti-intellectual strain in this country that many, that it may be the beginning of the end of our informed democracy. <laughs> of course, in a free society, you can and should think whatever you want. And if you want to think the world is flat, go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat and you have influence over others, as would successful rappers or even presidential candidates, then being wrong becomes being harmful to the health, the wealth, and the security of our citizenry. Discovery and exploration got us out of the caves, and each generation benefits from what previous generations have learned. Isaac Newton, my man, said, I have, if I have seen farther than others, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. I get an amen. Woo. So that's right, B.O.B., when you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the Earth isn't flat. And by the way, this is called gravity. That is the beginning of the end. That's where you think you're at the top and people start doing things on their own with or without you. And all of a sudden, you not all of a sudden, you gradually fade to insignificance on the world stage. That was writing on the wall for me when we were not leading that mission. Let's keep going. How about Brazil? If I mention Brazil, what's the first thing you think of? Someone said, Bikinis. The guys are saying, yeah, the tong bikinis, yeah. Uh, soccer, maybe, okay. This is the American view of Brazil. I understand. It's completely understandable. However, it blinds you to the fact that they have a burgeoning aerospace industry. Do you know that most planes that you fly between regional cities is made and designed in Brazil? You're not thinking this because you're still distracted by bikinis. <laughs> Brazil has the third largest aerospace industry in the world, employing 18,000 people. It's a $20 billion industry there, and they invented the first airplane that can fly on alcohol. Brazil. Now, we don't do that because we just drink our alcohol. See, see, that's how that happens. We don't even think to make a plane out of it. So notice the American bias that prevents us from recognizing the rest of the world rising up as we stand there flat-footed. Europe. Let's take a look at pre-euro currency. I'm intrigued by this. Before the euro came out, Europe... Thank you.